Hey learners, Jared here, and in this episode of App Physics, we're going to answer a question about a character who is very near and dear to my heart, and that is, how strong is Master Chief? So Master Chief is part of the Spartan 2 program, and I won't geek out on you too much about this, but he is basically a genetically modified, super strong, amazingly powerful soldier. Built to fight the insurrectionist, but... Six hours later... He has crazy armor that makes him crazy strong, and I'd like to analyze how strong that actually makes him. We're first going to look at a display of strength from Master Chief in a cutscene from Halo 2, Return to Cinder. Here, Master Chief straight up pulls this bomb that easily weighs over a ton like it's no question. big deal. What if you miss? I won't. Pulling this bomb when there is gravity displays a lot of strength because you have to increase force to overcome static friction and the vacuum of space can barely pull that thing out. Now you get a real appreciation for the mass of the object here. So we know from conservation of momentum that momentum has to be conserved during a collision. Well here he pushes off and he gets a lot of speed and the bomb gets very little. He weighs 700 pounds, which means that bomb has to weigh way more than that. So I analyzed him throwing two things. The oddball. Oddball. And then the plasma tank. So the physics of this throw is very interesting. First off, Master Chief's windup involves no stepping at all. He just straight up throws using only his arm and upper body rotation. Now, he also throws with his left hand. Me throwing with my left hand looks crazy super awkward. Throwing the oddball is very odd because there are some things that should happen physically that don't happen while throwing the oddball. Master Chief throws it at a certain speed, about 68 meters per second, when standing still. What's interesting is that when Master Chief is running, the speed that he throws the oddball decreases, which shouldn't happen because when you are moving, the object that you're going to throw is also moving with you. So it has the speed that you have. So when you throw it, if you throw it with an equal strength, then it should go faster. During Master Chief's throw, which lasts about 0.067 seconds, which is crazy fast to get something going from zero to 68 meters per second. And the shorter that release time means the greater force it takes to get that object up to that particular speed. So the plasma grenade weighs about two pounds, which is about 0.9 kilos, and Master Chief gives it an acceleration of about 250 meters per second squared. That's 25 Gs of acceleration. This thing leaves with the equivalent energy of taking a bowling ball weighing about 15 pounds and dropping it 13 feet. Yikes. How strong something is is often equated to how much power something has. So let's talk about the power in Master Chief's throw. Power is how much work you can do over how much time it took you to do that work. And here, the work done is the amount of kinetic energy the ball receives. Now, his throw is such a short release time that he actually generates almost 4,000 watts of power for each throw. That is enough power to keep 65 60 watt bulbs on for a second. Now I consider myself to be a pretty strong guy. But I am someone of pretty average strength. So I threw a ball and tracked it. I can't even come close to Master Chief's initial speed. If you look at my X position and my Y position graph, I only achieve an initial velocity of 20 meters per second, not even close.
Thank you guys so much for letting me geek out on you a little bit about Master Chief. If you'd like to, go ahead and subscribe or click the other link to watch more episodes of App Physics. And as always, keep learning. Not yet.